Hello, my name is Thomas Hotelling. Um, today I'm going to be talking about Cornell Notes. Uh, when I first started out in Navid, I didn't think they were really worth anything. I couldn't understand what was so great about them considered to, you know, regular notes. But uh, over time, I've now come to see that they are very helpful when it comes to studying. Um, the note the note taking process is so much easier because when I just jot down notes I don't even remember them but when I use the Cornell note process I can I know how to use the questions to help me review as well as the summary um they're actually really easy to make all it is is uh, lines on the paper you got your title box your essential question box your name date and class go here your questions go on this side, your summary goes across the bottom, and your note sections in the center. The uh, What helps you so much is you take and you write the notes, and then you use the questions to help you study and go over it, as well as the summary, because the summary is going to basically, you know, go back over everything, but make it fast, and when you need to study fast, and you got that summary right there, it's a whole lot easier than having to go, you know, read the whole note and try to cram in it. Because you know, you can't you can't cram a whole note in it very fast. Um some of the pros are like, you know, fast studying skills, uh easy note taking. Some of the cons are sometimes you try to cheat your way through it which doesn't help you by writing questions that don't matter summaries that really don't help you at all and uh, there's just no point in that you know if you're just gonna write them for no reason whatsoever you might as well just do it the regular way um, some of the do's and don'ts are a lot of people if they're trying to make Cornell notes fast they'll make this line right here over here so that way they can write less notes and uh, like I said if you're gonna do that you might as well just write regular notes because you're really not trying to you know get any benefits out of it another thing you should do when you're taking Cornell notes is make sure your summary is good a lot of people will only write a one to two sentence summary which I think is you know pointless you should you should at least four to five sentences to really sum up the notes because there's over 25 30 sentences in a note at least so you know there should be a decent amount of sentences to be able to sum it all up um some other things are you know the essential question well when your teacher gives it to you it's a whole lot different than you making one up. When you make one up, you should really take time to think about it. Because if your essential question is worth nothing, then you're not going to understand what the point of the note was. So those are some do's and don'ts. Um, thank you for watching and have a nice day.